Okay, once we have Picasa set up and all our photos are uploaded, we're ready to go. Our next step is to actually create our digital portfolio site. So that's what we're going to do here. Again, it is so much easier to get to everything if we go ahead and start from Gmail. So do that and then click on where it says more. Drop down, click sites. And when we set up our, our digital portfolio, it, you know, we get to sites. I have a bunch of sites already in there, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one so you guys can see how to do this. The red button right there, click, click create. And you do want to go with the blank template. If we grab one of these other ones, they're pretty cool, but they have all of this fake text and fake pictures that are in there that you would have to delete later. And you don't want to mess with that, so choose the one that says blank. All right, we're going to put, um, and remember, no last names on here. So you're going to put your first name, something snazzy, like Mr. Langley's photography blog. And then down when we have this section, I want you to delete that out of there. And where it says the sites.google.com site, I want you to have this kind of format. I want you to put PPHS, photo, first name, and then if it's a common first name, put your last initial. Okay. So after we get that together, I'm just going to paste it in there, save a little time. We get all that in there. Um, we want to make sure that it's it's available, and there's usually a check availability section right under here. Um, you can ignore the choose theme, more more options, and then type the funky code. And let's see if I get lucky and get this in there the first time. Okay, everything's good. So we have Mr. Langley's photography blog, the home, and then what I need you guys to do is this web address up here. I need you to email that to me. So send it to my, my Gmail, piratedjlangley at Gmail, please. Uh, that way I know what your, your site is so I can add it to the classroom website list of, of digital portfolios. Okay. From that point, our next step now is to see how we can get some photos on there. So what we need to do is go up to the, the buttons. We want the one that says new page. Notice when you hover over them, the, the tag pops up, the hint that tells you what it is. We want new page. And we're going to go ahead and name that based on the projects. Uh, one of the projects that we're going to do um, was candids and the other one was sports. So let's just call it first candids. We're going to put that under home. I'm sorry, put that in the top level. Um, we'll worry about where everything else is going later. And then we're going to hit create. And you guys will see where it goes here. Now, if I would have put it under home, it would have been a sub page under home. So you want to make sure it's its own, own level. Um, it pops up, it's in edit mode. So this is really cool. All I have to do now is go ahead and insert my photos. Okay, so watch this step because when I hit insert I'm gonna go past the one that says image because that would be uploading an image directly Google sites only have a limit I believe it's 20 megabytes it's not very big that's why we're uploading to Picasa Picasa is basically our storage site so we're gonna go to Picasa web and it's gonna have all of our photos that pop up up here so I'm gonna find the photos that I wanna upload Okay, I'm gonna pick one of those I'm gonna select it Okay, and it pops it up in there. Okay, and right underneath it, all of the information that we're looking at, the who, what, when, where, why, how, all that good stuff, so I'm going to write a caption underneath it. So put my caption in, and then I can hit save. Okay, and when I need to go to edit again, the little pencil up here is the edit, so I click on the edit. Take my cursor down to the bottom, pass the caption, hit enter a couple times. That way I've got a little bit of space in between each one. Insert. Picasa photo, go to the next one I want to put in there. Okay, so now it pops that in there. And if it gets a little squirrely on me like it did, I can click on one of the photos, usually hit the right arrow button, and then put some spaces in between. Okay, that way I can get a little caption in there as well. Okay, and then I can hit save when I have that. Okay. Once I have everything in there, then I'm good.